everyone welcome back to the channel sorry for the noise in the background if you can hear it there's like some con edison electric something going on outside my window so it's very loud in here i'm actually not going to be talking in here for a while because i'm actually headed really quickly to a preview for spanx so i'm seeing what's new for spanx and oh my gosh it's so loud but that's where i'm headed right now traffic in new york is pretty busy and downtown can take 30 minutes even though you're going like a 30 blocks so yeah i have to head into an uber right now but i will fill you in when i get back on what i did this weekend and because it's a spanx preview i decided to wear all spanx today i'm wearing their low leather jogger i love this pant because one there's pockets in the front and them is tapered so it kind of gives it more of like a cool look versus just like a regular straight pant and then i'm wearing one of their white body suits this one's super comfortable it's not too thick at all so this is good for like warmer weather it's a basic scoop neck top white and black and then i'll probably put on a trench coat it's pretty nice out yesterday was like 60 degrees so hello spring and yeah i'm gonna see what is going on because it's crazy loud outside Oh, there's smoke coming out. I do not know what they're doing. Oh yeah, it is way, way, way too loud. So anyway, welcome to living in New York. It's just... in it that are strategically placed to elongate your body that's awesome um, for comfy good for summer because like mm -hmm. at, well i'm sure in atlanta it's like super humid yes yes so i think this is definitely super good for some three levels of impact we have for our sports bras this is the low impact that you know you can wear for yoga or just lounging around mm -hmm. or errands and then we've got medium impact that's a little bit more supportive and then our high impact has like the clip in the back which So I got these flowers and a little pretty bag. So I will share with you what I got when I get inside. All right, peace has been restored on the street. They are still working outside, but they stopped jackhammering so I can finally talk to you about my day. I just got back from the Spanx preview and we went through three racks of amazing, amazing new things coming out this spring slash early summer. So I'm gonna open up what I got in the package. And I also got to pick out a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And I love the color combination. It's definitely perfect spring summer bouquet. I love myself a beautiful bouquet of flowers. All right, it's such a gorgeous day out today. And yesterday was, I think it was like 60 degrees. So I'm gonna share with you what the Sphinx goodies are. Let's see what's in store. So they did send over these like lookbooks, which looking through all of the items, I'm honestly like the quality of the leggings, the tops, the shirts, this is actually a Sphinx bodysuit and it's so soft. So they have so many, gosh, they have so many cute things like coming out this spring, summer. Like I'm so excited. I always feel like when you get a cute workout set you want to work out even more or like even if you don't work out getting a new workout set just like inspires you to be more active that's how I am whenever I get like a new cute set I'm like ooh, maybe I should go to the gym but look how cute this is a legging and top set white like look how cute I'm just like the quality is amazing and then they also have new clothing coming out for a spring summer fun bottoms like look at these pants how fun are those and these are coming out throughout june so hopefully i can share these with you but these are out right now these are a twill pant straight leg cropped and they come in petite and tall and these are so cute they also have 
my favorite joggers that I wear all the time. It's coming out in like a tan. There's so many things. I cannot wait to share them with you when they come out. Now I can see what's in. First, I have a bralette, which feels so comfortable. I have this without the pads, so I'm excited to see what the pads look like. Okay, so on this model, the pads are not removable. So this is more of like an actual like bra bralette. They have one with no pads if you want more of like a seamless look, but, and the back is perfectly seamless like look at that perfect stretch then they sent over a pair of bottoms and they were telling me that the inside has like this strong material so do you see that like these will not move so these are more of a short style and this is perfect for if you're wearing a dress in summer and you don't want fly up and like everything showing these are a short style the bottom has no seam, so it won't tug at your thighs, and it will also provide some tummy support, which I sent over. Ooh, a white bodysuit. So I'm actually wearing the scoop neck right now, but they also just launched a V-neck, which is like a perfect staple. I always love wearing a bodysuit. I feel like I live in bodysuits, so there is more of, oh, we have a pant. This is their flare retro wash jean bottom is a flare and this is a stretchy material so if you don't like wearing jeans that are like super rigid these have an amazing stretch to them and these also come in white which i'm all about the white but i also love this color this is a perfect spring color and there's one more thing they provided me with a discount code dana x spanx and it's 10 percent off entire purchase at spanx.com plus free shipping and returns. So I will leave the code in the description box and I'll pop it up on the screen. So if you're interested in some new Spanx, you can check it out and get 10% off free shipping. Ready for spring summer. I'm ready to get rid of my black clothing and just put on all like light colors, spring colors. And like this bouquet of flowers is just inspiring me so much. Look how gorgeous is that? And there's like these cool orange little guy all right so now that it's super quiet i can share with you what i did this weekend so saturday i honestly don't remember what i did but sunday i do remember my apartment was so messy i spent all day cleaning i'll insert a little video of what it looked like before it was pretty bad so i spent all day literally cleaning and organizing and now everything is so neat i also went to trader joe's i picked up some essentials and i will leave some of my favorite items on the screen that i got there was an amazing candle i actually bought it so i'll show you it in a second but it's like a perfect kitchen spring candle at the location there was only like three left so they're flying by the shelves if you can go to trader joe's check out like the beauty aisle they have a great candle it's like a citrus green candle and then i also got a bouquet of flowers which i also just got these amazing flowers but i was putting the flowers in the vase and it just made me so happy like that six dollars i spent spending on flowers but it just brightens up and livens your home and makes you just feel so good so definitely need to put a fresh bouquet of flowers on my trader joe's list whenever i get there just because it really does lift up your mood i'm telling you if you have no flowers in your home definitely just buy a bouquet this week it will literally in your mood it doesn't even have to be the most expensive bouquet it could just be one of their five dollar bouquets it's just so nice to see spring i did get a fun exciting package in the mail and well i unboxed it already so it is a new camera i'm filming on a camera right now that is basically on its last leg i dropped it actually when i was in florida the screen is cracked the lens doesn't even close fully and b h which is a camera store here in new york they let me this sony vlog camera and it has a cool pop out screen like this it also has a mic puff so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to switch cameras and i'm curious to know which if you can see a difference if the volume's better if the video is better because from now on in this vlog i'm going to be vlogging on this sony camera let me switch the camera right now okay we are on a new camera can you tell the difference let me know in the comments if you can tell a difference already let me show you what i was working with on my old camera so my actual camera like didn't close <laughs> look at the back the screen actually cracked right here and 
it actually still works. I love the Canon G7X. This is the Canon G7X Mark III. It's a great camera. I'm just so excited that B&H lent me this one so I can test out which one I like. Flip out screen is on this side. So see me look over this way a bit, whereas the other one was above the camera. So I was looking up more. So we'll just have to see how this goes, but okay. And these are the flowers that I got at Trader Joe's. I put them in my CB2 fluted vase, which I believe is only like $12.99. So I will leave it linked down below. Well, it's so funny because this fluted like style, I have it in martini glasses, my hand soap in the bathroom, my fluted collection. So I have the fluted vase from CB2. Then I have the flute. Oh my gosh, I can't even grab it. Here we go. Then I have the fluted um, martini glass from CB2. This is the Eve Coop. Then we have the fluted um, CB2 hand pump. I believe they also have a different color top, but I think this was also pretty affordable. I think also like $12. And then I have a fluted rediffuser bottle, which this is from Target Studio McGee from like, I got this when I moved in and there's still some liquid at the bottom so i bought new reed diffuser sticks and i'm gonna buy like a liquid um scent just to refill because i love i love the flute so food collection obsessed taking the new camera outside and we are alcinos with me and um I'm, we're gonna go buy some fruit from a fruit vendor because one they're really cheap and then i'm going to pick up my packages so it's a little mini errand today So this is me for our ginger. Okay. So I would say either strawberries. Strawberries could be good. Yeah. Or raspberry. blackberry. Or raspberries. Or both. Raspberries. Raspberries, raspberries. They have all this fruit. One strawberry. Yeah. All right. So I've made it back home and I picked up some strawberries at the little fruit vendor and i gave them a really really good like deep wash just because they did come from the streets of new york and they need to be maybe extra washed for consumption and so i'm gonna make a strawberry basil gin cocktail so i have my basil right here and i'm gonna mix up a cute little i guess it's kind of a spring summer cocktail and i love gin cocktails i feel like they're so refreshing so but tonight for dinner i don't know if you know but i'm making again this amazing salmon ball but with shrimp this time um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pickle the cucumber really quickly so i'm going to add some sugar and vinegar i actually bought rice vinegar which is the recommended type of vinegar to you so quickly I have to figure out how many cups of each. So it's half a cup of the rice vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, and some salt. And you microwave it until everything is dissolved. And then you put your cucumbers and onions in it for like 30 minutes and you have like an amazing pickled. I also added in two teaspoons of organic toasted sesame oil. Yeah, that's super easy to make some amazing pickled cucumbers and onions for like toppings on salads and meals. All right, so it's cocktail time. I have my strawberries. I basically muddled the strawberries and basil and the lime and simple syrup in here. And now I'm gonna add the gin and then we're gonna shake it up. Let me know down below if you also like making cocktails at home. I feel like I worked in bars. I definitely love having a good, good cocktail just because I've worked in so many like, cocktail bars. So, and also because I've worked in cocktail bars, I always watch the bartenders make drinks and make drinks myself. So I know what it takes to have a good cocktail and it's basically using fresh ingredients. So the cocktail right here, look how good this looks. And I put it in the CB2 Eve Coupe glass. Isn't it just like the cutest glass we've ever seen? Out of a cute little garnish. Now, most importantly, let's see if it tastes good. Let's see. Oh my. It tastes like summer. It tastes like a garden party. Mmm. Delicious. Let me know if you want a recipe. It's very simple to make at home, by the way. Having great cocktails at home is not, not as hard as it may look. But you do need some tools. 
but oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous and beautiful this is. Ah, going to sip this. Then I have to finish dinner. So dinner is served. Again, I'm obsessed with this recipe, like a salmon bowl, but I've been doing shrimp lately and it's just brown rice, carrots. Um, what is this? Anamame, some pickled cucumbers and red onion and some seaweed chips. It's kind of lunchy, but it's really great for dinner and I'm loving it lately. Good morning, everyone. It is a rainy, snowy day outside. I spent all morning basically working on my computer. Did receive some packages yesterday. We did really fun to open together and sat down. And this is actually my day to hair. And like, this is crazy because I'm the type of person that washes their hair like every single day. Now I try to do every other day, but this is like on day two. So I haven't washed my hair since two days ago. And I honestly think it doesn't look bad and it doesn't feel greasy at all. I think the key is to not touch your hair like at all. And then also I learned that you should put dry shampoo in when your hair is completely clean. So when your oil starts to build up, you dry shampoo will just like absorb it all. But I actually have no product in my hair for the past couple days and it has like this like pretty bounce. I haven't even brushed my hair today. I have a package, it's from Merit Beauty and this is a new beauty brand. They are cruelty free, vegan, and their whole vibe is about less is more and they do sell at Sephora. It's clean, cruelty free, and vegan and they sent over a fun little package to try out some of their makeup. It came in like this cute little sack. How cute is that? Inside we have a whole bunch of goodies. So I'm just gonna kind of like talk and do like a mini get ready with me. First item is their minimalist complexion stick. So this is good for foundation and concealer. And I got the color cream. Wow, that looks nice. This is probably my color right now, so I'm really excited about that. You have some makeup on right now, but I'll try this out, I guess, on my jawline. That's really nice, actually. So I guess because it is a complexion stick, it's going to be a bit more full coverage than your average foundation because it can also be a concealer, but, and the color is spot on. I'm definitely more of an olive tone skin color. All right, we have two signature lip products that I wanna go through. We have it in Millennial and Baby, the two colors. Wow, this camera's autofocus is like so good compared to my other camera. Ooh, look at that packaging, it's really nice. After I go through this makeup with you, I'm going to be packing for a trip, which I'm going on tomorrow. So I'll talk more about that in a second because I have the lipsticks here, mauve nude colors, cause that's like my absolute favorite. So this is Baby and it's a gorgeous like mauve color. I'm gonna swatch it at the top and this is Millennial which again is another gorgeous, like pretty pink color. So they're actually both very similar. Maybe this one at the top is a bit more sheer. So I'm actually going to try on the Millennial. How are we liking this lipstick? It's such a pretty color. The texture is like very creamy. It almost feels like a balm rather than like a lip color. Next, I got the highlighting balm in Day Glow, which is a great like highlighter. Oh my goodness. That is a very natural highlight. Ooh, I'm gonna put some on the top of my cheekbones. I kind of don't wanna, I'll put it on my skin. But you see where like the natural light hits? That's where I like to put my, put my highlighter just so it looks super natural and blend it in. That's very pretty. Oh, wow. I like it because it actually, there really is no color to it. It's not like an orange or like a pink highlight. It's definitely like your natural highlight color. I feel like right now it's all about like the dewy skin look. I like to add at the bridge of my nose sometime. And I also like to add it where the light naturally hits. So. Sometimes right here, just a little bit. Right, very pretty. You know what? I kinda wanna put some on my eyelid. Just a little bit. It's so fun to play around with makeup. 
that is the the highlighting balm in the color Kava. Next, I have two flush balms. These are two cream blushes. So I have one in terracotta, which is more of like a darker coral. And then I have it in Beverly Hills. So the Beverly Hills is a bit more pink. So I'm actually going to, and it's in like this packaging like this. Put this on with your finger. So I'm going to just put it like this and then tap it on the apples. This is definitely a very like naturally looking makeup. Very nice. Definitely gonna see how that wears throughout the day, but I'm loving it so far. And then I think the last item that I got is a mascara. So I like how thin this packaging is. It's not too bulky, which is great for like traveling because sometimes like the Better Than Sex mascara is a bit like, packaging is really, really big. So I feel like sometimes when I'm traveling, I don't like to bring it because it takes up a lot of space in my bag, but this is like a very minimally beautiful packaging for mascara. So, ooh. I'm gonna put it on. My eyelashes are not really curled, so. Oh my God, I just, I just messed up. Why did that happen? That's okay. I think the trick is if you get that on your skin to let it dry and then it comes up super easy with like a Q-tip. So I cleaned that little spot up and my overall first impressions is that it is like a very naturally dewy makeup. I'm loving the blush. It looks so pretty and just like lushed pink. The highlighter is gorgeous. The mascara reminds me of like a mousse texture. So this is a more natural mascara. This is like your perfect everyday look. It's not too much for the office or whatever. And then the lips are perfect pinky nude color with a good formula because it feels like a balm and it doesn't feel dry at all on the lips. So that is my little Merit Beauty little try on for you. Yes, I'm still in the same shirt that I was wearing last night, but that's okay. I just can't believe how cute my hair is looking today without brushing it. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't look good at all. So anyway, right now I'm going to pack for a quick trip. It's just one night. We are going to the Kalahari Resort in the Poconos. I'm doing an Instagram campaign with the hotel and we're only there for one night and we check in at like 4 p.m. So it's literally like, we're gonna be there for like less than 24 hours and I have to shoot like a few photos, but um, I'm excited to go because it's so funny. The Kalahari is a resort in the Wisconsin Dells. I'm from Wisconsin. And if you haven't heard of the Dells, it's basically like the, well, it's the water park capital of the world. And it's like this strip of just like water park, resort after resort after like outdoor water park for like this whole street. But the campaign is focusing on the restaurant and spa. So I get a spa treatment, so excited. Um, so I have the pack for that. I can't believe it's snowing right now. And we had a beautiful tease of amazing like 60 degree weather on Monday and now it's snowing. So anyway, I'm going to start packing and getting my things together. So I was on my computer on and I saw that there were Jonathan Van Ness tickets at Radio City Music Hall this Saturday for like a gymnastics slash comedy show. And I love Queer Eye, so um, yeah, I booked the tickets because you know what? I could use a laugh and I'm obsessed with that show to begin with. I would pay, which I did, to see him do gymnastics, do comedy, so I'm really excited. I literally had no idea that he was on tour and I'm super excited to see it. I don't know, I just, I had to do it because, I mean, why not? I do also wanna see Batman, that looks really interesting as well. So I'm gonna have a fun, exciting week. I'm going to head to El Senio's house because the car rental um, pickup is like near over there. So I'm gonna make it an easy transition. And then tomorrow morning I have to film something anyway. So gonna be a busy morning, but super excited for the weekend. Good morning, everyone. You may be wondering why I'm in a swimsuit. In the middle of winter, yes, I'm actually filming some Instagram stories for Cupshe. They are having like the biggest sale of the year this weekend. I also do have a discount code if you are interested in some Cupshe, but a little behind the scenes of that and show you what I'm wearing.
So I'm gonna share with you what I'm wearing in these videos. So the first is this mesh. I've worn this so many different times. It's absolutely so soft. Like if you have to get something from Cupshe, this is, I love how this is super flattering and the back is pretty low, so it is a bit sexy. There is a slit, so you can kind of with it and it won't make you look too like, covered up. So this is like one of my absolute favorites. And underneath it, I'm just wearing a black bikini from Cupshe. If you have the classic like bikini design, this one is great. The fabric is actually super, super soft and it has like a bit of a texture to it, I don't know if you can see. I actually ordered an XL in the top just because triangle tops are kind of small on me and I'm glad that I did because it ties both on the neck and the back so that's adjustable. So the XL will just make your boob area bigger if you have a larger chest, I would size up in the black. The next swimsuit I have is this green two-piece swimsuit. It has a fun geometric pattern and I feel like I've been seeing this color everywhere lately. The top is a v-neck, but it has two straps, so it's super supportive. And I honestly feel so supportive in this top. And the bottoms are a high rise. I have a long torso, so my belly button is showing. So it's like, for me, it's like a mid-rise bottom. So as you heard, I love this black one-piece swimsuit. The bottom part is like so, so soft. And I do like how it has a V-neck. This is perfect if you want more coverage, but still want to show some skin. This is a great option. And the back detail, the back detail is probably the selling point of the swimsuit. It has a nice open back and a cool detail. And that's a wrap. So let me share with you the last item. This is a cute midi dress. It is off the shoulder. I am wearing a strapless bra in this. You can't even tell that I'm wearing a bra. And I love the color. It is a super cute, like summer dress. It's also very lightweight. So I like to bring this on my trips as well. So we are headed to get the car and look how gorgeous the Upper West Side is. Like I had no idea there's so many pretty buildings. <laughs> we have our Pimico and we are headed to Pennsylvania. The Poconos. Yeah. I'm excited to get out of the city. It's always nice to like get away, but we're gonna make a stop at Home Goods and Target before we head there. So we have everything set up. We have made it. Just the stores are so much bigger and it's just more relaxing than in the city, so. First stop is, is so peaceful. It's not in New York City, but we're gonna do more of like furniture shopping in Home Goods. But they have a ton of furniture for just this being a TJ Maxx, so that's cool. I wanna get some other things from there and maybe get a snack. We're at Target right now, and I found the cutest little bag for like vacation. It's a pretty big size, and they also have it in this cute green color. I'm kind of liking this green. This is a really cute bag. Cute. Oh, there's so many cute bags here. Hold it up. Okay. Loving these custom little knit blankets. They're so soft. And I'm gonna pick up these bathroom towels. They're like blue, green, gray color. It's a little bit different than like white towels all the time. And I just love the Casalina blankets are so so nice so finished up with target we found so many things which i'm so excited to share with you what we found we got an amazing studio wiki lamp which is sold out in every store and sold out online so i don't even know how it was in the store oh could i have some sanitizer <laughs> i do not know how it was still in the store but it was the last one so even though we love like symmetry with two lamps, I think it'll be okay because it's such a statement lamp that maybe one is just okay. We'll probably use it as like an accent lamp to a chair versus a couch. Figuring it out, but it's stunning. I'll show you it when we probably get back into the city. What else did we find? Oh, I got my sriracha. I got, I got my shower curtain liner that I needed. Oh, we found really cool marble um, book stands that are actually heavy enough that will hold books. 
What else did we get? I got a tiny little Petri dish. So I put my earrings in at night because I always take out my earrings when I sleep. And it's like the most beautiful like terracotta color. Oh, and we also got a planter for the Birds of Paradise. We are using currently this like kind of ugly one from Home Depot, but this one has a scalloped and what do you call it? <laughs> we were having an argument on what's a scallop and what's a flute. So I think it's both. Yeah, it's uh, the bottom part is it's fluted. Scalloped. I think it's scalloped. And Maybe then, it is. And then the top is like reversed. Yes. So whatever, it, and it was... Two different styles in one planter. Yeah, at first a bit more style than the one that we have now, which is basically just... Yeah, it was like a cheap one from yeah. Home Depot. It's also too big. It's hard to complete a space when not all the furniture is. I'm talking about your apartment. Yep. When we don't have a TV stand yet, or a coffee table, or a table, or chairs. Or side tables. So it's hard to like figure out what color you want things to be when not all of the pieces are there already. And yeah. the surfaces. And like we are picky. We will not have a thing, a piece of furniture for a year plus because we want it to be like perfect. It's like perfect on a budget, right? I found the perfect table, it's over $2,000. So I wanna find things that are affordable, that fit the space nicely, and like have a perfect proportion. And are functional. And are functional and look good. Yeah, and work together it's with a everything lot to else. Ask for, but Ugh. it just takes time to find. Takes oh, and then the ship. Oh yeah, there's a lot of delays. You find the perfect piece, and it's gonna come in June. So it's like, why even wait? Yeah. Anyway, we are now headed to the hotel and check in and get our get our work going. So it's a fun little Target pit stop. Can't wait to see the hotel. Yes, I gotta get the direction. In it to the Kalahari. Event going on. Alison is getting some photos. And we are about to get some food. I'm really excited because I'm actually really, really hungry. And yeah, we're going to get the content and then settle in. So, this is the water park. I mean, this looks like so much fun. There's like a really cool slide back there and a lazy river owl. Like, we have to go in. So, we sat down to eat. We have a full spread of amazing Mexican food. There's also like a whole tequila bar station going on over there, which we got some prickly pear margaritas. They're really good. So we're going to dig in and enjoy the food. Look at all the dessert that just came out. So many things. Yeah. Now we need to break out the espresso. We are leaving the hotel and now we're headed back to the city. All right, so we are leaving the hotel. Quickly, I wanna share with you what we got at Target because the lamp is amazing and had an amazing day at the spa. It was so, so fun, yeah. so relaxing. Feeling refreshed. The goodies at Target, we found this planter. It looks like gray. Oh my gosh, it looks kind of gray. I like yeah. it. It's like a dark, dark gray planter for the Birds of Paradise. It has like this scalloped or fluted design and then the lamp. And this is the lamp from the Studio McGee. It is stunning. I'm so happy that we found it, but really happy to see it. In this that is all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below, if you've been to a Kalahari resort, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.